Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and as part of streamlining our lovely new studio, we decided to give ourselves a house amp. This amp we've gone for is the Cornell Romani 12. It's a fantastic amp and we're a little bit about it. This is a great way for us when we demo guitars that we can show off with one amp what the guitar will do. We're also going to talk a little bit about this lovely Custom Shop 60 Relic Strat and we're also going to look at the 57 Murphy Lab Gold Top 2 and see how this amp handles both single coils and humbuckers. For those of you who aren't already aware of Cornell amplifiers, they're based in the UK, built on some of the heritage of some fantastic British and American made amplifiers. Dennis Cornell is the owner and he used to hand deliver the amps himself to the shop here. He's a great guy, he's even got Eric Clapton endorsing his amplifiers as well. So let's check out some specifics about the Romany 12. The Romany 12 is built in the UK, it's all valve and features a 12 inch Jensen speaker. So you're going to be getting some of those classic American tweed sounds from it. As you can see, it is covered in tweed, just like some of those original Fender amps you've seen. The voicing is very similar to a tweed amp as well. It's got four selectable outputs, so you can go from 10 watts all the way down to 0.05 watts, which means this thing's going to be great for small gigs, rehearsals, studio work, and you can even use it late at night for practicing in your bedroom. It's also got a three-band EQ, which means you can really dial in some different tones, and an EQ in and out switch for the purist in some of us. This is a fantastic amp, and it really captures that early 50s tweed Fender era essence. First up, we're going to test out the clean sounds on this amp. I've got it set to full output, and I've turned the volume to about two, so it's staying nice and clean. And for this demonstration, we're going to be testing it with the single coils in this fantastic 1960 Super Heavy Relic Strat in shell pink. This guitar is fitted with the Ancho Poblano pickups, and they sound awesome. Check them out. Cool, sounds really nice on the cleans. Let's try it with some overdrive. Not bad either. Next up, we're going to test this amp with some humbuckers, and they are fitted to this absolutely gorgeous Murphy Lab 57 Ultra Heavy Relic Les Paul Gold Top. This thing looks great, feels really nice to play as well. So let's check it out with some cleans first. to me. I think it passes the test. To get some of the overdrive sounds, I was using this awesome Maestro pedal by Gibson. This is the Invader Distortion. It's a super simple pedal. You've got level, gain, and tone on there. But what you've also got is this really useful noise gate. So if you're playing somewhere with some dodgy wiring, or you want to play at home and you want it to be super clean, or recording, hit that thing on, it's going to be beautiful. Now, 
We use this to get some of the overdrive sounds out from the amp set clean. Now we're going to test the onboard overdrive on the amp. Let's have a listen. Right, I've put the amp on the second lowest output, which is mode C. And this is a really nice volume for this kind of size of room that we're in. If you want to get it even quieter, you can go all the way down to D. That's the, uh, the 0.05 of a watt setting. But I kind of like it up a bit louder. I haven't got the volume that loud on the amp itself, so that is really kind of controlling how much distortion there is. I've just put it to around three or four, but it works really well with this Les Paul. Check it out. I was literally just going from eight on the volume control up to 10. I mean, check it out again, just kind of playing a little bit softly, dig in a bit more, still with the volume at eight. That is super responsive. And then when you go up to 10, it's like everything goes crazy. That is really, really useful. I mean, the combination of these two together, oh, it's just great. So, I hope you liked our new house amp. If you think there's a better one out there, then make sure you put it in the comments below. We really enjoyed making this video and we hope you enjoyed watching it. We'll be bringing out new videos every Friday at 4 p.m. So make sure you hit the subscribe button now to stay up to date with our latest content. Also, make sure you give us a thumbs up too.